Craig and Martin both ask, and that kind of goes, how did you pre mentally prepare before the competitions? Mm -hmm. um, well, uh, I would always, uh, um, every, every morning I would always do a little workout, a little run, a little jog, and I'll talk about that a little bit more detail later, but um, I, um, and, and at the end of that, I would, I would mentally review my routines. I would close my eyes, and, and here's another thing about mental preparation. You can, uh, you can visualize yourself performing a skill in two different ways. One is to visualize yourself by watching yourself perform the skill, like as if you're watching yourself on television or on a big screen. That's, that's helpful. What's much more helpful is to, is to actually go inside yourself and, and, and visualize what will I feel like when I'm flipping and moving. And when you see really good gymnasts getting ready for a competition, right before they go up on the pommel horse or the high bar of the rings, you see them with their eyes closed and they're going this, their body's going like this. And you can tell they're not watching themselves, they're doing it. They're inside, they're, they're knowing what it feels like to go backwards and twist. And you see them with their eyes closed moving around like that and you think, what are they doing? And yet what they're doing is, is really, they're performing that actual routine uh, physically in their mind and they're, you can see them go through the motions of doing the skill. So then all of a sudden, you see them open their eyes, they chuck up their hands, signal the judge, and, they just, and they're just doing it one more time, but they're doing it for real. And so um, I think when it comes to that kind of visualization, you've got to jump inside yourself and, and visualize that way. Go to sportsmentaltoughness.com to get your free video training and guided visualization MP3 on how to perform under pressure. I'm Craig Sigal, the Mental Toughness Trainer.